Welcome to episode 1154 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode we're going to talk to you about is the L train. That's right, chugga chugga time. Love you, love you, of course. But where it comes to creativity, where it comes to building in this context, building our practices, building our our work, our life's work, there's this thing of this polarity, this other side of the win is called the loss or losing. And of course, maybe there's now no real losing, there's only learning. And maybe we can convert that L train into that from the losing train to the learning train. What is interesting in this, especially for me, my journey, is kind of navigating when things are are kind of piling on, right? When it's like, there's loss after loss, this isn't happening, this person's saying no, this, like, it can feel like, okay, what wh- what is happening here? What am I not doing? What am I not seeing? Where am I going wrong in my process, in my, in, in my space of creating? And one of the things that I've noticed in the past and where I see with clients that can get in our way is our, our desire for perfection to get in the way of the creation, right? And then that creates the perception of, well, I'm losing, this isn't going right, this isn't how I thought it was gonna be, this isn't exactly how I drew it up, right? The play was this way, and then circumstances, life, the execution, whatever happened, it didn't go the way I wanted to, and now I don't have what I want, I'm upset, I'm angry, I'm a loser, right? We just descend into this place of, of judgment and, and criticism. Well, what what is on the other side of that? What is there to learn? What is this thing teaching you? What are you gonna? How can you improve this moving forward? Right? Because you don't have to stay stuck here. You know, I was listening to Rick Rubin's book, The Creative Act, and I know I'm, I'm late to the party. Right? Late to the party. D- recently, you know, got it on Audible, and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. It's could be funky. And I love the this thing that he he shared about you know you don't have to create <laughs> right it's not a prerequisite it's not a a mandatory thing you can choose to or not and in that sense you can choose to gain something from a quote unquote loss or or not you can just let it be what it is you took an L took a money hit you took a client hit all right that's what happens or you can find a way for growth, from improvement, for upliftment. It's all a choice anyway, right? Remember, you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom. And you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.